If you're an aspiring songwriter, there's probably a long list of achievements you'd like to tick off in your career. Maybe it's to record 10, 11 albums, travel around the world and play to adoring fans. Maybe it's to collaborate with some of the world's top selling artists. Well, our next guest, he's been there, done that and got the t-shirt and he's also got a Grammy. This is Jesse Harris. <laughs> You can't teach me what I know. Jesse Harris, thank you for coming to the Basement Sessions. Thanks for having me. Now, you have just released your 11th studio album. Yes. Sub Rosa? Yeah. So you recorded that down in Brazil, right? Yeah, in Rio. For the most part? Yeah. And how was that experience? Great. Yeah? Yeah, I love Rio. I love that city. I love Brazilian music. And uh, I have a lot of friends down there now. This time around, I, I wanted to spend more time preparing for the record by working on the material more, working on the arrangements more, rehearsing, as opposed to a more spontaneous approach, which is cool, but, but just wasn't what I wanted to do this time. Like you mentioned, you've worked with Nora Jones, and you obviously have won the Grammy mm -hmm. uh, for Song of the Year, I believe it was. Right, yeah. How did that all kind of come about? Um, well, as I said, I met her when she was a, a student at music school in Texas. We were just friends and started playing music together. And uh, that led to a group that we started. It just naturally led to making a record. And that was that first album. Oh. And she's done pretty well for herself. I would say so. And, and, she, and she appears on this album. Are, are, you, are you getting tired of the calls from more Jones now? It's like, listen, I've, you, I've written you a huge hit. Would you leave me alone now? It's like, what, what more do you want me to do for your career? Is, we, is, there, is there a message you would like to give to her right now? No, I can talk to her. I'll give her a yeah? call later. Yeah. yeah, you should. You should. Yeah. Although the, the album does sound fantastic. And, you know, it's, you. it's amazing how well she, she compliments your voice as well. Well, Nora compliments anybody's voice pretty well. She does indeed. Um, now, you are on tour. Yes. Right now we're on a West Coast tour, um, but we're going to do a tour with Nora in South America in December, actually. Has there ever been a moment where you've been working with somebody and you're like, God damn, I wish I could do that song? You know, not usually. I usually try to enter into situations like that totally open. With, I don't have anything new and I write it right there on the spot and then what can I say? It's happened maybe once or twice where I, I, I used an idea that I wish I'd kept it. But, yeah. but m more often than not, it's not that doesn't Jesse, thank you for coming down to the Baseball Sessions. We appreciate it. Obviously, everybody go out and buy the album, Sub Rosa, and the single is out right now. Yeah, Rocking Chairs. So. And you're going to play that for us right now? I will. Yeah. Fantastic. Go to jesseharrismusic.com and check this fella out because he's fantastic. One day we bathed Barefoot, we walked far away. We talked and we talked in the shade. Someday, you said this would all blow away. The sun. Taking back all that you gave You knew That nothing was something to do The sea and the sky shining blue I tried but I could not get through And lately I wonder, had I been wiser then, would we be there, still there, like rocking chairs, like rocking chairs, the silence was something taught me that nothing is free and lately I wondered had I been wiser then would we be there still there like rocking chairs like rocking
rocking chairs like rocking chairs like rock